Hello everyone, welcome back to Anshul Gupta MD. High levels of inflammation is the root cause of all the medical conditions. Whether it is thyroid problems or autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis or diabetes or heart disease, inflammation is the root cause. People have been asking me this question, what is the best way for checking their inflammation levels in the body? So let's talk about these simple blood tests that you can do today to know the levels of your inflammation. But before you move forward, I would like you to take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel so you keep on getting this great information in the future also. So let's get started. The very first test on this list is HSCRP, which is high sensitivity C-reactive protein. Now let's talk more about this test and what are the optimal levels. C-reactive protein is a protein which is made by your body in response to high amount of inflammation and infection in your body. This is particularly made by your liver in response to an inflammatory molecule called cytokines in your body. Whenever there are high amount of cytokines released in the body, then this C-reactive protein goes high. The most common mistake most people do is that they do not know the difference between these two tests. One is C-reactive protein and the other one is HSCRP. HSCRP is a better and a newer test to know the levels of inflammation. HSCRP is much more sensitive and can show even small amount of inflammation in your body. So it is better to get HSCRP done to know the levels of inflammation in the body. The range of HSCRP can be confusing for a lot of people. Most of the labs will say that if your levels are more than 5 mg per liter, then you have high amount of inflammation. But for functional medicine providers like me, if your levels are anywhere more than 1 mg per liter, that definitely signifies that you do have chronic underlying inflammation in your body. And the higher this number, the higher amount of inflammation is present. So this is the very first test which is available in each and every lab that you should get done to know the levels of inflammation. The second test in this regard is fasting insulin. Now the most people will have this question. What has fasting insulin levels to do anything with the inflammation levels in my body? I do not have diabetes. Well, interestingly, the new research is coming out, which is telling us that fasting insulin levels, when they are high, then that directly correlates with the amount of inflammation which is present in your body. Now, insulin is a molecule which is secreted whenever there is high amount of sugar in the body, as well as whenever there is high amount of oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is another name of inflammation in your body. So that's the reason when your insulin levels are high, especially fasting insulin levels are high, that means again that your body is developing inflammation. Obviously, whenever your fasting insulin levels are high, that can also mean insulin resistance and that can also mean diabetes or obesity. So those are other reasons for it. So if you do not have diabetes and still your fasting insulin levels are high, that again means that you have underlying inflammation present in your body. Now, the next question arises is that what is the optimal level of fasting insulin levels? Again, the range given by majority of the labs is very wide. So from the functional medicine aspect, if your levels of fasting insulin is anywhere more than 10 MIU per liter, that signifies inflammation and again the higher this number is beyond this 10 the higher amount of inflammation is present in your body the next test to check for inflammation is esr which is erythrocyte sedimentation rate this is the oldest test that we have to check for inflammation in the body this test measures how fast your red blood cells are settling down at the bottom of the vertical tube of blood. Whenever there is high amount of inflammation present in your body, that means that your red blood cells actually fall faster because they have high amount of bad proteins in the blood. And that's the reason the values of this ESR will also be higher. Now, typical ranges, again, anywhere of 20 mm per hour of this range of this blood test signifies inflammation. So if you have anywhere more than 20 on this blood test, that signifies inflammation. And again, the higher this number which is present in your blood, the higher the inflammation levels are present. The next test to check for inflammation in your body is ferritin levels. What is ferritin? Ferritin is actually iron storing protein which is present in your body. 
and it is important to maintain proper iron levels and making sure that iron is available in your body whenever it needs it. We all know iron is so important for our body and that's the reason ferritin levels are also very important. But interestingly, what we also saw was that whenever there is infection or inflammation present in your body, then your ferritin levels can go up high. There are various reasons for it. One of the reasons is that whenever there is an infection or inflammation present in your body, which causes destruction of the red blood cells, that causes excessive release of ferritin in the blood and that again leads to high ferritin levels. The second theory is that whenever there is different kinds of infection like bacteria, viruses or any yeast which is trying to attack your body, the ferritin levels increases so that they can prevent these pathogens from using iron in your body. So that's the reason when whenever there is a chronic infection or a chronic inflammation present in your body that can lead to high ferritin levels. We have several research studies which shows that people who have chronic diseases, especially chronic liver diseases or obesity or different kinds of cancers, their ferritin levels have been high. So, so that's, that's the reason this particular test is research backed in telling you the inflammation levels present in your body. The last blood test in this list is fibrinogen. Fibrinogen is a protein which is present in the blood that gets activated by the enzyme thrombin to help forming clots in the blood. Now what has forming clots in the blood related to again inflammation? Now again research suggests that whenever there is chronic inflammation present in the body or whenever there is a acute infection or chronic infection from various bacteria or viruses or yeast in the body then the levels of fibrinogen also increases and that's the reason it is a good marker of inflammation in the body. There are various research studies which have studied that high amount of fibrinogen has been present in several inflammatory conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, ulcerative colitis as well as various types of cancer. So that's the reason again fibrinogen is a marker which can be elevated in chronic inflammation. Now fibrinogen out of all of the other tests is not the most common blood test which is ordered for the people or might not be available in every lab so that's the reason it is the lowest test in my list but again if your doctor is willing to order it or your lab can do it then again this could be another marker of inflammation present in your body so now you know you have the five best test over here which you can easily do in your blood which will tell you whether you have inflammation present in your body or not and how bad is this inflammation and again please work with your doctor to order these tests and interpret the tests with your doctor so you can take relevant steps to find the reason of your inflammation as well as fix the underlying problem so that your inflammation levels can go back to normal. I hope this video helps you to understand the best blood test for your inflammation levels in the body. If you do like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.